Hey everybody, uh, this is Prep, Prepper Sagittarius Woman. Um, today I'm going to be talking about alternative weapons. I don't see too many women talking about it, but um, there's different ones I ha ha have because I know in some states it's hard to find uh, guns and stuff because there's pr plenty of them about guns and stuff. I know in some states that like New York or some places that they don't, it's very hard to get guns and in some countries like England and some, they don't allow guns and some people don't want to have guns because they might have kids and they're worried that something might happen. Like I say in my videos, I'm not responsible for anybody gets hurt. It's just my opinion. So um, with these uh, things, uh, I, I only use it like if shit hits in the fan or something really happened, I would use this to protect the people I love and people I care about and my pets and the stuff I have. So this is one, one of them. First, I'm going to show you this. This is like, I forget what it's called. It's a flashlight. It's a multi-flashlight. I don't know why it's not working right now. Maybe the battery's getting low. But anyway, uh, yeah, it has this thing on the front that's sharp and on the side it has sharp. I got this online. So this could do some damage. So this is really hard. Another thing you can use is in pepper spray or bug spray or whatever uh you can go to local um luckily um in the state of massachusetts we're allowed to have pepper spray but it can run expensive you have to go to the gun store so i do an alternative bug spray just you can spray this in the person's eyes like i said this is only in self-defense um like today i'm talking about self-defense you know, you just spray it in the person's eye and you can run away. Or another one is baseball bats. I have a bunch of baseball bats. Baseball bats are good to have because you can, right here, I, I got this at Savers. That's a place. This is hard. You can hit them with this or this. There's different ways to hit people because um, the private, you know, you can, when it comes to hitting people, yeah, I have this other bat, this is stainless steel bat that can do damage, or you can walk away, you can hit someone in the kneecaps, and the pro they say in self-defense, uh, to, um, you can do, uh, do the eyes, the n eyes, the nose, the ch private areas, the private areas, your kneecaps, if you hit someone with the kneecaps, or the or the feet or the knees, caps, that will do damage in your ears. Uh, yeah, and I also got this because I'm a big walking fan. Uh, I got this a few years ago. I don't know if this would break. I think this is wood, and I like The Walking Dead. I just, I watched The Walking Dead, so I like this is Megan's bad. I'm a big Walking Dead fan, so I got this. So this would do damage. Also... I got this outside is tree branches. I know they break, but I would do some damage on someone if, you know, and it has these points. So that would be do damage to someone because in the olden days, they didn't, you know, in the caveman days and, you know, Iron Age, they used sticks to um, use sharpened sticks to uh, use self-defense. Yeah, so I have that. I have like three different sticks you could always put a knife or make it so sharp knives are good to have as alternatives i have knives that i can use for protection you know you could you, you know you could have have bow and arrows for protection you can have you can have different things another thing you can use is keys people don't think of these because this you just take your keys And you put your fingers in between and you just, the eyes, the eyes would hurt someone. You know, if you hurt hurt someone, if someone is like, you know, self-defense, if something that should hit the fan, if you have a bunch of keys, you know, everything can be a weapon. Say you have your broom, the bottom of your broom can be a weapon. Uh, if you have, yeah, pretty much anything can be a weapon. If you have a flashlight, 
you can use that. Sorry, <laughs> make this come closer. A flashlight can be a weapon. A lot of things can be made into weapons, not just baseball bats. If um, if you have a cane, that can be made into a weapon, you know. And like I said, um, the parts to keep for self-defense are the eyes, nose, the ma uh, neck, the kneecaps, the groin, or the private part for men and women, the groin, uh, women chest, uh, kneecaps, <laughs> right here, they're this part, knee part. I'm no expert on stuff. I just see, it's also good to watch YouTube videos about um, self-defense because it can protect you, protect you before she didn't fan. Like I said, I'm not responsible. Everybody ta has to take care of themselves. But this is good for like if shit in the fan. If you don't have a weapon, you can use your own arms and legs and hands for um, combat, uh, close combat. If it, in the keys, or if you have a hairbrush, the bottom of a hairbrush can be used. If pet, even a magic marker or a pen can be a weapon if you if you are strong enough. You can use a magic marker or a pen. That might sound silly, but anything can be probably used um, as a weapon to keep someone from attacking you during shit in the fan. And, you know, like I said, pepper spray, bug spray. You, this is this is just regular uh, wasp spray. If you ha have bug spray, you know how you have mosquito repellent? You could use that as protection. Uh, sun, or if you have sunblock, the spray kind, that could be protection. Deodorant could be perf a perfume. If you have perfume, that could be protection if it goes in someone's eyes because they can't see. So th there's a lot of things you can use for protection, for close contact, or if you want to use a bat for, for a little further. A lot of people say, oh, I want to use a gun. But guns make a lot of noise, and, you know, and... A lot of people know, you know, you have to be trained. I think you should be trained with a gun and you also have to buy a lot of bullets and where you're going to store it, you know. And like I said, a lot of places don't allow guns and people might end up getting hurt by accident if you're not trained well. And it's good. You could practice with um, the um, uh, um, practice with the bat or something. As um, long as you protect yourself, you know, for protection, you know, like I keep on saying, this is only for protection, you know, and shit in the fan or, or, you know, for your, for your family, your loved ones or your pets or the stuff in your, it, for your prepping stuff like food, water and stuff, you have to protect that. So until my another video, hopefully it's not too, too long. Till next time. Bye.